Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another From the Collection Fridays. A series where I take things from my collection and show it to you, my viewers. And this week it is my G1 Metroplex. Uh, and if you're a fan of Transformers, yes I'm well aware of the fact that the gun doesn't go in his hand. And that the gun, uh, sorry, the hands are not in fact his fists. They are in fact the spiked fists from I think it's Power of the Pro uh, Power of the Primes Dinobots. So I've got uh, Snarl and Sludge. I think I'm pretty sure that those are the two I've got. Um, and because I don't have any of the others. Their fists were available, and somebody pointed out to me that you can actually put their fists into Metroplex's arms to give him fists, which then give him a bit more articulation in the um, in the fingers. Not a great lot, and yeah, I am aware that like this antenna should actually be pulled up, and it normally clicks into place. But on my one, it has a nasty habit of you know not doing that. Um, you can see the the tray thing, you know, the ramp. Uh, now, I bought this Metroplex originally as a junker, and then I bought, like, another junker, and I started carefully rebuilding him um, so that I would actually have an arm with the tower thing in it, um, I think the arm, there was something wrong with one side of it, so I've actually had to sort of fix it up. There's a little missile, missile platform thing that, you know, rolls out there. And uh, if you push the ear up one way around, you can put up his little shoulder cannon. Um, the stickers obviously are very, very faded. And, well, they're very faded in some parts and not too bad in other parts, so, you know, that's sort of trade-off. I believe the red gun is actually meant to connect back here somewhere. I've never owned an original Metroplex. Um, I think, I think from memory, and it's been a long time since I got this guy, like 15 or so years when I started doing this. The wheels, I think, came in two different varieties. So I think there's the plastic wheels like this one. And I think the very original one actually had rubber wheels. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, you know, articulation-wise, classic brick style, up and down sort of thing. It's the same thing with the legs. You know, you get forward get back there is no knee um, he's kind of a bit faded and stuff um, I'll just I'll rip the hands off and that uh, so. transformation of this guy um, I'll put the, the turret back you know I mean back in the day I think this was like the ultimate of awesome there's a button in the back there so you can put his his arm down i can't ugh, i can't remember how this went i think it was meant to go that way like i said it's a long long time ago you fold out the panels the front there and then actually i don't think you meant to have the helipad open for this bit so in order to get that shoulder bit in, you do need to have his, his head up. Um, I think it's something something like that, I think, was like the mobile platform mode of Metroplex. And that. And then um, you had, I think there were two different ones. So there's like... Yeah. Push. Like, very flimsy. 
push the legs apart like that, I think. So to have them obviously not going to work particularly well on there, and then you twisted at the waist, I think. I think I just, hold on, just need to get that wheel out of the way. Not entirely sure this is the correct transformation, but it was one of the ones that sort of worked. Um, you know, you put the legs off to the side. Obviously on the Lazy Susan, it's going to go off, a, you know, off kilter a bit. Um, but then that made his, like, his city mode. And then ones like, uh, was it Onslaught and Superion? Ah, uh, sorry, not Superion, Silverbolt. Um, they could be connected like their base modes and I think I think to a degree it might have been Menasaur as well um, sorry Motormaster I'll explain the combiner thing in a second uh, they combined onto like parts of it and I think the Micromaster bases could also be combined with it I've got a fake Sky Gary somewhere um, and yes I know that's a really weird name for a transformer but you know you have to love Japan they they do awesome stuff and without them we wouldn't have this um, the well in Japan they had like an OVA called Scramble City uh, and that basically had like Superior I'm pretty sure it had like Superion, Bruticus the combiner teams in it um, and instead of like the American version where they were very much stuck like you know a team member became an arm or a team member became a leg they could actually swap places so you, you could have an arm normally that would become the leg and stuff like that and they could be interchanged with each other like I haven't seen the OVA but I'm pretty sure there's a scene in it where I think it's Menasaur and Superion are fighting and one of them loses like the team member that forms a leg and the team I think it was, I think it's Superion loses one of the team members from the leg and one of the Stunticons uh, Dragstrip I think it is combines with Superion and it causes pain or something like I said you know I I, I haven't seen it but I'm pretty sure that's what somebody said happened um, and I took them at the word, maybe they were lying. Some people are filthy liars in this world. Anyway, um, so the front of Metroplex's legs and his arms also have ports that mean you can combine, um, you know, people like Dragstrip, Dead End, um, not so much the Decepticons, but like um, First Aid, uh, Groove, Air Raid, Firefly, all of them could be combined onto Metroplex and, you know, make giant cities. So, you know, for, for a toy that came out in the 80s, it's very, very cool. Compared to, to you know, the toys of today, it would probably be seen as kind of lame. But in saying that, you know, um, to to have something that creates itself into like a city and a base and and that it's still kind of something that's in the um, in the toy industry sort of thing. Like I know there's like a was it like a three foot tall Batman that turns into a bat cave. I don't think the arms and stuff move on it, but. You know, there was like, there's a gigantic Optimus Prime one that came out years ago that was, I think they're close to like four, four foot. And that had like moving arms. Not, I don't think the elbows moved. They might have. The legs were pretty rigid, but like the arms moved at the, el uh, at the shoulders, sorry. So, you know, it's still something that's made today. And this came out in the 80s and, you know, 
Of course, now this Metroplex has been replaced with like the was it, I think it was Combiner Wars that they released Metroplex. It was like the first of the Titans, and then of course there's like I think there was a Metro Titan version of him, and, and then later we got Fortress Maximus who I don't think I have done a video on, but I own Fortress Maximus. I also own the Triptychon, but I don't own the Scorponok, and I don't own the Metroplex. I just have this Metroplex. And for years, he didn't have hands, so when I found out that you could use those, you know, Power of the Primes or Combiner War hands in the slots, I was like, cool. You know, he can finally have hands and, and do things, so... You know, to show you those hands. So the fingers are not, you know, not anything anything great. But you do have that thumb. He can hold a weapon. Uh, and that's the, well, I think that's the only weapon part I really have. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.